So if you guys watched my mix preparation video, you remember there was a point in the video where I had to install some plugins that I didn't have installed on my system. Now, one of the plugins that I didn't have was the Waves uh, 670 plugin. I do own it, but it's a pretty old version and it's not working for whatever reason. Pro Tools does not want to see it, but I do have an alternative, the IK Multimedia version. But in this video, I want to show you how to organize your plugins in Pro Tools. Now, if we go to my plugins list and we go to IK Multimedia, one of the things I dislike about their installer, they don't give you the ability to choose your plugin. So they throw everything into your system. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Avid folder and I am going to right click. Now I have it pinned to the start menu. If you have a shortcut, it might be a little easier for you. So open file location. And this is what you're going to see if it's on your desktop. Properties, find location. Now I'm going to make that window big. And now what we're going to look for is that plugin folder. And if we enter, uh, we can close everything else. We don't need any of that. We have every single plugin here. And right away we have all the IK multimedia stuff right here, all their plugins. So what I want to do, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to just call it IK. And let me highlight the first one. Well, let me highlight the first one here and holding down shift. We're going to select all of those and I'm going to right click and I'm going to cut. And I'm going to look for that IK folder that I created and I'm going to dump everything into that folder. So now it's more organized. So now that we put everything in a folder, what do we do next? Let's get rid of the plugins we don't need. Or you can put them in that Pro Tools on use a plugin folder. I believe that's what it's called. And here we go. So we can actually do that. So let's copy that location and we're going to Windows E, open up a new window and I'm going to paste that there. We could close this because I don't need it. And, and we're going to take this window here. We're going to pin it there. This one here. So now we have the on use folder here to the right and all your plugins to your left. Now we're going to locate that IK folder here to my right, my unused folder. I'm going to create another IK folder just to keep things organized. And yeah, now I need to know which plugins I own and don't own. So those are all the plugins that I currently own. And these to the right are all the plugins that I don't own. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to that IK Multimedia folder. And it's right here. Check it out. Either way, what I just showed you applies to anything, any plugin. So if you have another plugin, Bondu, that does the same thing, just dumps all their plugins into the plugin folder and it just makes a huge mess. You can create a folder and put everything into that folder. And Pro Tools still recognizes those plugins, which is great. I really hope you got something out of this video. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.